Hey, church, let me, uh, let me just encourage you from the word and give you a thought to chew on today. In John chapter 10, we see Jesus make some, some interesting statements, some statements that almost don't make sense unless you back up into the context of the Old Testament. But we begin John 10 in verse three. Jesus says this, to him, the doorkeeper opens and the sheep hear his voice and he calls his own sheep by name and he leads them out. And when he brings out his own sheep, I love this, he goes before them and the sheep follow him for they know his voice. Now we know that we are the sheep. We know that we are his sheep and his people. Now again, that, that statement's a little strange, but if you back up to the book of Micah, this Old Testament prophet, you begin to see some context to what Jesus is talking about, and it paints a beautiful picture for us as the church right now in the season we are in in the world. Listen to this, Micah chapter two, verse 12. I will surely assemble all of you, O Jacob. I will surely gather the remnant of Israel, and I will put them together like sheep of the fold, like a flock in the midst of their pasture, and they shall make a loud noise because of so many people. And then it says, the one, speaking of Jesus, the one who breaks open will come up before them. And then speaking about us, it says, they will break out, pass through the, great, through the gate and go out by it. The king, their king, will pass before them, the Lord at their head. This, this picture that's painted for us in the book of Micah paints a picture of a, a shepherd who puts up a, a makeshift pen for his flock of sheep at night. He would lead them up against a, a rock wall or a cliff face, and then he would take a bunch of rocks and he would pin them in. He would make this sort of semicircle and pin them in against the cliff face and it would keep them safe for the night. And this, this verse that we read, it, it paints the picture of the morning and the shepherd would come and pull out a couple of stones from that pen and suddenly the leader of those sheep would come flying through the gate and all the sheep would come after. It's a picture of the gospel breaking forth. And I want you to know right now in this season of the earth, the gospel is breaking forth. If you study the, the church and its history going back even to the time of Jesus, anytime the church has been persecuted or forced out of its meeting places, anytime the church ha has suffered uh, injustice, anytime the church has been under threat, the church has always flourished. The church has always prospered as well as you look through history anytime that that the church or Christianity is celebrated or made the religion of a particular area or, or people group suddenly its popularity begins to dwindle but I want you to know right now in this season that we're in as we're not even able to gather yet under the same roof as we almost feel under attack by pandemics and epidemics things going around the earth I want you to know that the gospel is breaking forth, that God is leading his people, that Jesus is on the move. And, and contrary to popular opinion, I want you to know we are winning the world. Jesus is the answer for the longing heart and for the hungry heart. Revival is breaking out in church. We are a part of that. God wants to use you and God wants to use me in a significant way to reach our family and to reach our workplace and to reach the community around us. The gospel is breaking forth. I love the Apostle Paul, even in the New Testament, he writes, the gospel is not chained. The gospel's off the chain and it's breaking out around us. Revival is coming, church, and we play a part in that. Let's seek him for it. Let's pray and ask how God wants to use us. Let's lean into this season and say, God, what are you teaching me? And how do you want me to participate in bringing a living Jesus to a dying world? I wanna encourage you, church. You have what it takes. God's hand is upon you. He sees you. He's with you. If he's with you, that means he's for you. And if he's for you, nobody can be against you. Be blessed, church. We love you. Can't wait to see you. Talk to you soon.